distractions happen. It's part of life. But are you able to be disciplined? share with you nine lessons that I've learned about myself and nine lessons that I feel like can help you in your life, in school, and even in your business. All right, I'm Cantus Simmons and welcome to the Cantus Simmons Show. Well, over the last nine months, I have doubled down on my fitness. I've doubled down on my health. Why? Because I battled with sleep apnea. Right, so sleep apnea is where there is obstruction in your throat, nasal area where you are constantly stop breathing while you're sleeping. And that can lead to other challenges, right? So and one of the things that I heard consistently was, get the weight off of your core. All right, so I decided to get the weight off of my core and I just became super duper serious on my fitness because I didn't want to die in my sleep. All right, so let me share with you nine lessons that I've learned from working out. Number one, invest in yourself by investing in an expensive proven coach. Here's one thing that people fail and don't realize. Your daily activity is connected to your pocketbook. Yeah, where you spend your money shows you your true energy. All right, so in any area, my encouragement is transformation takes place when there's a transaction. Find somebody that you can invest in that's had proven results that can help you stay on the path to get the result. Number two, if you hang with eagles, eagles will not let you make excuses. So I have two good friends and we work out every single morning. We're accountable in our text group. They help me to not make excuses. When I'm running on that treadmill for those 12 minutes at the beginning of my day and I feel like quitting, guess what? They don't let me quit. Even in our businesses behind the scenes, we're always saying something to each other to say, hey man, let's keep going. It's not that hard. And because of accountability, I do not allow myself to fall. All right, because I realize I have eagles who are supporting me, and at the same time, I have to support them. All right, number three, I realize that I am not average. I'm not average. If I'm not average, then I cannot expect my business to be average, my speaking skills to be average, my books to be average, the cleaning of my home to be average. Everything that I do now is like, hmm, if I'm not average, don't allow averageness in my life and with those around me. So what that means is I cannot accept when I'm doing things that are subpar. I have to always push myself to be better. And I encourage you to do that. Like, are you a below average person? Are you an average person? Or are you an above average person? If you are an above average person, then live your life that way all the time. Number four, True accountability is when no one is looking. But true accountability is when I'm by myself, when I'm on the road, and when nobody's around me. True accountability and character is when nobody's around. In that silent place, in that unseen place. Are you accountable to the man in the mirror? Can you lie to the man in the mirror? If you can lie to the man in the mirror yourself, you gotta change that. True success happens when no one is looking. And so that's the fourth thing that I want to encourage you, fourth lesson that I remind myself on. Number five, working out is really mental. So, you know, when we first started working out, we was on the treadmill and running, starting off five minutes. And on the five minutes, first thing we do, start off at level five. It was hard. Then we move things up to 12 minutes, 12 minutes of running, 12 minutes of sprinting. And your boy sometimes will like pass out. Here's what I realized. If I could control the thoughts in my mind, my body would just follow. And over these last nine months, I said, you know what? Working out is really mental because it's keeping me in tune with my thoughts. When I say quit, when I say, oh, I'm about to die, I'm about to pass out. Guess what my mind says? Think, Kansas, don't quit on this treadmill because you're going to quit on those people. Number six, do the hardest task first. Yeah, the first thing in your day, do the hardest things first. And the first hardest thing in my day is working out. 
Yeah, and guess what? When I've accomplished the hardest thing of my day, then everything else I do in my day is not that hard. So what is it about you? What's the thing in your day? What's the thing in your schedule? What's the thing that you do day to day that you consider hard and challenging? I encourage you to do that as the first thing of your day if you can. Spend the first hours, first two hours of your day getting that thing knocked off your list. If you can accomplish that, then you can beat the rest of your day. All right, number seven, people are always watching. I was just amazed and I would post clips of me working out of pictures on my Instagram page or my Facebook page and people were always sliding my DMs. You would have those person that'll like a picture, like a video, they'll send you a, a great encouraging comment. But here's what I do realize, people were watching. People were living through my daily activity. And what I've realized is that my fitness journey has been encouraging other people. Maybe they're not going as hard as I am, but they see it, right? They comment on it. They notice differences. They see the work, they see the accountability. And I want you to know this too. When you're doing what you're doing, people are watching you too. People are watching you. People are studying you. People are concerned about seeing if you're gonna fall off, right? But when you don't fall off, you're showing them something different. So number seven, people are always watching you. Number eight, distraction is the main enemy we must defeat. How many distractions come into your day and these distractions actually derail you? Yeah, think about like what happens on your day. Maybe it's the cell phone, right? Maybe it's a friend, maybe it's an email, maybe it's social media, maybe it's the television, maybe it's an association. What's the thing that derails your day? If you can defeat distractions, you can whip your day. Here's what I've learned about successful people. Successful people know how to be disciplined around distractions. They are disciplined in handling their distractions. What areas of your life have you lacked discipline in the area of distractions? What's distracting you? Are you disciplined to handle distractions? Listen, distractions are gonna come. I'm not special, you're not special, the president not special, uh, parents not special, distractions happen. It's part of life. But are you able to be disciplined, right? Like this phone, right? It got a lot of cool things on this smartphone. Are you disciplined to leave the phone in the other room and not touch it while you're studying? Are you disciplined to leave the phone in the other room while you are tuned in doing some work or doing work? Even when the phone is close to you, can you put it on do not disturb so you can focus on the one big thing that you're focusing on? This right here may be killing your day. Distractions are killing your day. And so I need you to be able to whoop and be disciplined where distractions are concerned. Number nine. Sleep apnea can be defeated. Yeah, sleep apnea can be defeated. When you watch what you eat, when you watch what time you eat, and you get the weight off of your core, right? So I've lost weight. I My cardio has gotten better, my discipline has gotten better, and my sleep has gotten better, right? I got an app on my phone where I can monitor myself every single night. Uh, I have this really expensive mouthpiece that I, that I wear custom made to help me breathe better. And those are just some natural things. But by me working out and getting the, like my, my, my <laughs> I'll say a, a fat neck, right? My fat neck has gone down, right? And the beautiful thing about it is that anybody else who battles with sleep apnea, I'm encouraging you Get the weight off your core. Do what needs to be done. Watch what you're eating. Watch what time of day you're eating. Like, I've learned that creamy foods create mucus in my system. And that mucus and that buildup contributes not only to the fat, but also contributes to my breathing. Now, I'm not perfect, but I know that sleep apnea can be defeated because I do know years ago, I wasn't sleeping and snoring and hucking and shucking the way that I may be doing now. You know, when I sleep around family members or friends or whatever at an event or sharing a room or hotel with a colleague of mine, it's like, yo, bro, you snoring really hard. You stopping breathing. And so now I'm looking forward to my next follow-up checkup. So to see how the numbers have changed. And I want to say to you, with consistent fitness, consistent dedication, commitment to your body and health, things can change.